Hello, I'm Liviu Bolan and today I will speak about Vagrant Private Network. So, let's get started. First, before proceeding into the tutorial, you will see that I've changed my uh, gedit color scheme in order to uh, work better with my uh, terminal color. Uh, okay. During this tutorial, the first thing that I will do is to open Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. To do this, I will hit the menu button, type virtual and select Oracle VM VirtualBox. Hit enter. And as you can see here, I'm having a Ubuntu Trusty Virtual Machine, which is powered off. In order to power on the machine, I will use the change directory. Uh, to switch to the Ubuntu Trusty32 uh, Vagrant project, hit enter, and here I will use Vagrant app with the provider option and VirtualBox uh, option value. If you look here, from power off, the machine is running. And in a few seconds, I will be able to use it. Now, the machine is up and I can use it. What I want to achieve during this tutorial is to be able to access the virtual machine from my host operating system using this IP. I've choose uh, this IP because this is the IP that I've used during my uh, virtual box uh, networking tutorial. So if you want to learn more about native uh, virtual machine in virtual box with uh, host only networks and more, you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website livyubalhan.com. Okay, now if I use the ping command and the IP 192.168.56.101 and hit enter, you will see that nothing happens. What this command is doing is to send an uh, ICMP echo request to network host. Um, okay, so as you can see, nothing happened. I will use the control C command and the first thing that I will do in order to, resolve, to fix the problem, I will edit the Vagrant file inside of my current working directory using the vi uh, space Vagrant file. Hit enter and inside of uh, this directory, I will uh, edit Let's search for private. I will edit this line. Remove the comment. And instead of using the IP provided by default here, I, I will remove it and I will use this one. 192.168.56.101. Uh, okay, now write and quit. And um, let's connect using SSH to my machine. And what I will do next is to power off the machine. You will see the machine here. Hit the enter key and you will see that from running the machine is powered off. Now, what I will do next is to use Vagrant Destroy hit enter, yes, enter again, and then use vagrant up dash dash provider virtual box, hit enter, and now we will wait a second. During uh, this uh, waiting, I will explain you what uh, I've done and why. So the vagrant destroy stops the current running machine Vagrant is managing 
and destroys all the resources that were creating during the machine creation process. The reason that I've destroyed the machine and recreated it is that if you read the Vagrant documentation, you'll see that if you already started the Vagrant environment before setting uh, autoconfig, the files is initially placed where they uh, is placed there uh, will stay there. We'll have to remove those files manually or destroy or and recreate the machine. Uh, then I've used uh, Vagrant app in order to create the machine. Now, if I use the ping command again that I've previously used and hit uh, enter again, you will see that I have a response. Okay, so after this, I will use Vagrant SSH in order to connect to my machine. And here I will install Apache. So first I will use sudo apt-get update, hit enter. And after this, I will use sudo apt-get install apache2. Yes. And now, if I will open a web browser, Mozilla Firefox in my case, and here, if I copy and paste this IP address, 192.168.56.101, you will see that I am able to see uh, the default Apache uh, web page on uh, the Ubuntu operating system. And this page is generated by a virtual machine created by uh, Vagrant. So this is how you can uh, access um, a Vagrant virtual machine using the private network option. If you want to learn more about Vagrant, about web technologies, you can check out my tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website liviubalan.com. Before closing this tutorial, what I want you to say is that as uh, the Vagrant uh, documentation states, it is up to the users to avoid IP collisions. So whenever you will use multiple virtual machines or you will manually uh, set up your uh, networking adapters, uh, remember that is your responsibility to, to avoid IP collisions. So this is how you use the private network in uh, Vagrant. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.